Well, good morning. It's Friday, the 4th of December. Can you believe that? The 4th I, of December. I can believe it because uh, I'm in it. The yeah, because you're in it. The 4th of December. Who would have thought in March this year, when this all started, that we would still be here in December? It's interesting, isn't it, Chris? Because over the last eight odd months, yes. Even though we've been we've been stuck in this room for the whole time, <laughs> with, with uh, and uh, doing these these uh, weekly catch ups, yeah. we have been around the world. We have. We've what been are some to, of the countries we've been to? We've been to Russia. We've been to Cuba. We've been to Venice. We've been. To Remember the, when you pushed the gondolier out of the boat? Oh, he was. Of, uh, yeah. If I didn't push him out of the boat, he would have ended up in a <laughs> up in one of the buildings there. He was. Uh, Where else did we go? We went to well, the Gold been, Coast. Yes. You're right. Uh, we went to, uh, was it New York? We went to New York once. We went to New York once. Uh, we went to Rome, I believe. Did we? Well, I've been to Rome. I don't know about you. <laughs> we've both been to Rome, but I don't know that we've taken our, our you know, our listeners with our us listeners to Rome. Our listeners to Rome, our viewers, we're, we're, Tristan, Our viewers, viewers yeah, yeah, viewers, listeners. Viewers to Rome. They're listening and look, watching. Uh, but we've done a lot of interesting things over the last eight months. There's a lot of interesting stories that you've told, all unrehearsed. Yes, that's right. All unrehearsed, and I think that they would have noticed that. Yeah, no. <laughs> you know, a little bit about uh, our childhood, how we met. Uh, yeah. A little bit about uh, your your history as a boxer. My history as a boxer. They 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 know that I used to be a boxer. They do. You've told them. I have, have I? Yeah. All right. Did I tell them that uh, when I was young there was a. I had a lot of ladies falling at my feet. You told them about the fight you had on the bus. No, 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 no. Yeah, well, that was right. Dude. No, I'm sure you did. I think you've told them everything that I've been hearing over the last 41 years of marriage. They haven't heard about the fact that when I was when I was young, I had a lot of ladies falling at my feet. Okay, tell them. <laughs> they were studying podiatry. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. <laughs> I never fell at your feet I because I never studied for dietary. <laughs> Actually, when we were going, you wanted to look at my mouth because you were uh, oh, because I was a dental, a de nurse. dental nurse. <laughs> yes, I was. I was You're a dental checking nurse. Checking my mouth out as if I was a horse. Oh, please. I was a dental nurse. Yeah, that's right. You were a dental nurse in... Footscray. Lead Street. Lead Street, Footscray, just down the road. And I was an apprentice fitter and turner. On Ballarat Road, Footscray. Warren and Brown, Footscray. Warren and, and Brown, Footscray. And look where we are, Footscray. And and it, 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 this is amazing because. Oh yeah. Growing up around here. In you, the seventies, it was very different to where Footscray is now. You and your mum yes. would have been shopping in Footscray. Uh, yeah, at Forges. And I came to shop at Footscray with my mum as your well. Your mum always went to Forges. Always. Forges yeah. was her second home. Yeah. We, without even noticing, might yeah. have even crossed Absolute. paths. Absolutely. I reckon, I reckon, because your mum loved shopping at Forges. And yeah. we, Forges was the place to go to when we were kids. You, we, we must have crossed paths in Forges whatever, and just without down, even knowing. And just down the road is where, where we purchased my engagement ring, which I'm not wearing at the moment. My engagement ring and uh, you purchased your that. engagement ro uh, watch, which you're not wearing at the moment because, you know, that yeah. watch is... Um, it's, a, it's a classic Seiko. It's a classic Seiko. Still doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, uh, so we did a lot of stuff around here. And this was the epicentre of our youth and growing up and uh, all that type of stuff. And we back here again, Chris. Oh, I was just going to say, you know, I think sometimes God in heaven must laugh. I mean, a good laugh and think, you don't know, you're going to be back and here when he like laughs, I cry. <laughs> Because we don't know what tomorrow brings, but God does. And so, you know, yeah. it must be wonderful being God and knowing what tomorrow brings it, and, and knowing what surprises are in store for us. It, it, it's, yeah? it's interesting because I'm not sure if our viewers know that when the opportunity came, when we were invited to come here to at come Jesus here. is the Way, yeah. and I asked um, uh, Pastor Mark, who was uh, the district uh, secretary, I asked him, well, where is this church? And he said, it's in Footscray. What? As I felt like that uh, that scene in uh, The Godfather 3, you know, <laughs> just, just when I thought I was out, they pull me back in. Here did we I are. do that okay? <laughs> yeah, you did. <laughs> You've done that before, but yeah. <laughs> and here we are again in Footscray. In Footscray. Amazing. Well, it is amazing. You're right, God's it? got yeah. a sense of humour, but he's yeah. also got a plan. Yeah, absolutely. Tell me what it is. Like. I know, absolutely. He has yes, a plan. Yes, that's it. Yeah. So we've done a lot of things over the last eight months. Yes. And actually in February, February the 3rd will be 
will be. Stop um, kicking my chair. Kicking the chair, will <laughs> Yeah. Okay. <laughs> February the 3rd will be two years since we've come here at Jesus is the Way. Was it the 3rd of February, was yep. it? Yep, 3rd yeah, of it February. February. Yeah. It was uh, two years, that we, and it's, that's, that's only a couple of months away. So it's, that's not, yeah, I know. It's not amazing. Know. It's, it's not amazing. A lot has happened. Uh, pastor in church for one year, and then pastor in church for a second year in COVID. In COVID. Very different situation. <laughs> Very different situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. So, so that's that's where we're at at the moment. And uh, so, sweetheart. Yes, sweetheart. Now, share something nice with yeah, us. Okay. Well, so you remember that last week I, I said that we will have part three uh, this week. So remember we started off with who am I? Last week we said what am I doing and what am I saying? And so today is uh, the final chapter. <coughs> yes. <laughs> so so we, we concluded last week with this, both my actions and my words serve as evidence of my character. And I read Psalm 25, 21. May integrity and uprightness protect me because my hope, Lord, is in you. So as followers of Jesus Christ, we possess the Word of God. And so we are called to be salt and light to the world. With regard to salt, well, you're supposed to be able to taste salt. Salt is supposed to make a difference, as we know. Because if you, there's no salt in the food, you can, you can tell when salt is missing. And with regard to light, well, we don't hide the light. We actually purposely position a light somewhere where it can um, shine the most and dissipate the darkness. Like a lighthouse. Like a lighthouse. Or, you know, you don't, if you want to light up a room, you don't put the candle on the ground. You actually raise the candle up where it can, you know, the light shines more brightly and, and, and penetrates even more. So to be salt means to deliberately seek to influence the people in our lives by showing them the unconditional love of Christ. And to be light means to bring um, knowledge, goodness, wisdom, grace, hope. It's actually, it's to bring God's revelation wherever we go. So as followers of Jesus Christ, there should not be a conflict between what we do and what we say and who we profess to be. And of course, we profess to be followers of Jesus Christ. So if Jesus... If Jesus is at the centre of our being, if His Word and His truth live in us, then we have His strength and the Holy Spirit to help us along life's journey so that we can be salt and we can be light and so that there can be consistency in what we say and what we do and the way we live and in all things to be vessels that bring him honour and not dishonour. That was my word for the week, um, finishing off three weeks. Can I add something to that? Yes, you can. What? You're the pastor after all. Well, yes, <laughs> but, uh, we, you know, I'm, I'm not a dictator. Yeah, yeah. I mean, not a Mussolini. No. Or anything like that. But, um, e and what have we been doing here over the last eight months. We've been sharing from our well, experiences. Yes, our experiences. And we've been sharing also a great thought from the Word of God. Yeah. Now, we've got a little bit of a sad thing to uh, announce to our viewers. Yes. All three of them, I think it is. No, no. <laughs> I think there's more than three, but yeah. To our viewers, that we are taking a break mm -hmm. because Christmas is fast approaching. Yes. And there's a lot to do here at the church and uh, the crew and um, uh, over the January break, we're just um, stopping things for a while, but we will be back in the new year. Yes. Doing some fresh stuff. Some fresh stuff. Does that mean you're going to have fresh stories to tell? Well, I'm nearly exhausted out of some of the stories, yeah. so I'm going to have to uh, <laughs> think back of uh, some of the experiences I've had. Yeah, I'm just thinking about all the stories that you've told, true stories, or some of them aren't true, but the stories that you've you told over the years. Aren't true. What, you want to tell me that that fight on the bus with that girl was true? She killed <laughs> killed me. <laughs> some of your stories have been true, but some of them have just been, you know, just fun and games. But it is, having been your wife, and still am your wife. Having before, been my wife, <laughs> what's going on here? 
for 41 years. I've been listening to these stories for 41 years. I know them off by heart. You've got to come up with new material. You've got the Christmas break and the whole January or whatever it is we're doing to come up with new material so I can be astounded. Well, viewers, listen, I will come up with some fresh material <laughs> for the new year. So tune in because uh, you haven't seen The Last of Us yet. Yeah. And also, because today is Friday the 4th of December and on Saturday, Sunday, it is the 6th, it's our yes. church picnic. So we are all meeting at Altona Beach. Doug Graham or Grant, what is it, Doug? It'll come up on the screen. It'll come up on the screen. <laughs> Uh, At 11 it, o'clock. It's Altona Beach. There's a few reserves there, but you, what, what you do is you actually stick your head out of the window and, and, and smell the chorizo, uh, the chorizo and all the empanadas and everything and just go towards that. You know that. that. So if you're, if you're perhaps not part of our church here at Jesus is the Wayne Fusgrave, but you've been following us online, hey, come along, pack your lunch and come and join us and introduce yourself to us. And it'll be a great day because we're all having lunch together and we're having a baptismal service we're as having well. A baptism in the service sea. In, in the, the sea. sea. I just hope the water is warm because I tell you what, it's. <laughs> the water won't be warm. The water won't be warm, but we'll do it for the Lord. We'll do it. Yeah. Uh, there, we've got some people that want to get baptized. They're going to confess their faith to the world. See? Even the Lord's happy about that. <laughs> that was thunder. Woo. And. Uh, Let's remind everyone about our special Christmas celebration services on Sunday the 13th and Sunday the 20th of December here at 210 Nicholson Street, Footscray. 9.30 Spanish, 11 o'clock English. Yeah, for both Sundays and they're both our Christmas specials. All COVID protocols. Yes. Okay, so come along. I want to shake your hand. Uh, if I've never met you, I want to introduce myself to you two, or you can introduce yourself, you introduce yourself to me, yeah. and that way we can be friends. Yeah. How's that? That's okay. Can I be your friend? Yeah, you're not my friend, <laughs> you're my wife. Anyway, um, yeah. Uh, so what we're going to do now is we're going to close in prayer and just uh, thank the Lord for this last year. It's been a bit of a tough year, but uh, a profitable year, we believe, as far as um, what we've been able to communicate to uh, not only our church, but to also so many other followers. And we really appreciate the fact that you've tuned in all these times, mm -hmm. really. So we want to thank the Lord. Thank the Lord for you. Thank the Lord for our church. And thank the Lord for uh, 2021, which is going to be an amazing year. Just around the corner. Exactly. So Amen. let's pray. We pray. Father, yes, it is. Uh, it, it has been a bit of a tough year. It hasn't caught you by surprise. It's caught us by surprise. But because... We know where our faith is and what our trust is in. Lord, we can rest assured that you have everything under control. And Lord, even though it's been a very difficult year and different, we know that 2021 is going to be something amazing because you're already there. and You've already planned some good things for us. We thank you and we pray for all those that have tuned in over these months that have been watching the catch up, people that we haven't met, but uh, we would like to meet. Lord, that you would be with them as well. Bless them, look after them. And Lord, until we meet again with them, Father, keep us safe in Christ Jesus. Amen. 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 God bless you. Have a great Christmas. See and a fantastic you New Year. Sunday. For all those. The picnic. At the picnic. At the yeah. picnic. Come along. I'll even shake your hand. <laughs>